Well, welcome back with Volcano of the Day, going with Fukutoku Okanoba in Japan. Submarine volcano, negative 46 foot elevation, which I'm sure that changed as it's now an island, it is currently erupting, hence the island. Um, but yeah, submarine volcano, until now, it tends to be explosive, eruptions uh, dating anywhere between this year and 1904, although most of these eruptions are not confirmed. Um, anyways, just going to tap on that real quick. And the Fukutoku Okanoba is a, was a submarine volcano, 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles northeast of the small pyramidal, uh, uh, per, uh, yeah, pyramidal island. Pyramidal? Yeah, pyramidal island. Minima, uh, Minami, Iro Jima. In the Japanese volcanic I volcano island change, yeah, chain. Blech. Eruptions and submarine hydrothermal activity often cause water discoloration in the area, and during eruptions, the volcano has built several temporary new islands. The first observation of the of a new island was in 1904-1905 when it formed Shin Arajima, due Sulphur Island. Small new islands were also formed during the eruptions in 19. 14 and 1986. So that means it makes islands and then erosion kind of eats at them. And I guess, or I guess the sea level rise cancels out its attempt at um, <coughs> growing. No one wants you, pop ups. Oh my gosh, the pop ups are crazy. Um, I do apologize for the vacuuming. Can't really control other people, but. Um, otherwise, um, Fukutu, uh, Fuku Toku Okanoba, I'm just gonna pause. Well, we're back and the, um, vacuuming's done, so we're good. Anyways, um, beforehand, well, before we continue, no recent earthquakes, and there's a map. Um, anyways, Fuku Toku Okanoba is part of an elongated submarine volcano with two major peaks al aligned north northwest to south southeast, the trinky andesitic in composition, similar to neighboring Irojima volcano. Um, okay, that was random. But, anyways, going on with the eruptions 2010 eruption. A, sub a submarine eruption was observed 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles north northwest of the of Irojima Island on February 3rd of 2010 by the Japanese Coast Guard. Jets of ash and steam were ejected 100 meters above the ocean surface. Since, de since de uh, December 2009, the sea water in the area had turned yellowish green. So that means sulfur. <coughs> At least that would like, likely mean sulfur in the area. Um, anyways, a 2005 eruption, submarine eruption occurred at Fukutoku Okanoba volcano on July 2nd, 2005. The water of the sea had turned um, orange-brown in an area of more than one kilometer length. Um, 1992 eruption, a dark plume was observed above Fukutoku Okanoba uh, Okanoba by fishing boats on, Jul on November 10th, 1992. An aerial survey revealed discolored pale green water in the, in the narrow fan shape to 10 kilometers north northwest of the volcano. Brown pumice was seen floating on the surface. 1986 eruption. A submarine eruption built a new island on Jul January 18th, 1986, but the new island has been eroded again by waves and disappeared under the surface by March 8th of 1987. Another eruption in 1953 detected on December 1st. Strong smell of sulfur and water discoloration were observed near the volcano. Possible eruption in 1950. February 1st, smell of sulfur and water discoloration were reported. Um, 1914 eruption, this is a big one. 
and in the 1904 one, a submarine eruption on July 13th in 1914, only one day after the great eruption of Sakurajima, new submarine explosions created steam and ash clouds up to 3 kilometers height, up to 26 explosions per hour occurred on January 23rd. On the following days, the eruption was continuous, and a new island, Nejima, emerged on t January 25th, which reached a maximum cir circumference of 8 kilometers and a height of 300 meters. It consisted mainly of pumice and obsidian fragments and had a summit crater of 250 meters diameter. By February 12th, the intensity of the eruptions had decreased, and the island was about 0.7 to 1 kilometer in diameter, 3.5 kilometers in circumference, and a height of, a of 117 meters. The island disappeared by, 196 by April 1960. Um, this more thing is just going to be with the sources, so no point in tapping that. Um, satellite imagery, and then, yeah, 1904, 1905 eruptions. Um, an eruption started in mid June 1904 when explosions were heard and steam and ash clouds observed. A cluster of s several new islands formed and merged into the Sh Shin Arajima, New Sulphur Island. Island. Um, so it's pretty much, yeah. Anyways, reaching a diameter of about 4.5 kilometers and a height of 100 of 150 meters. The eruption ended or paused in the late January of 05. On May 15th to 16th of 05, cannon shot like noises were heard. The size of the island had been reduced significantly by June 16th, measuring only 3 meters in height and 450 meters in length. By June 1st of 1906, the island has disappeared under the water again. So, um, eventually, this island will be permanent, it's just not right now, especially with the fact of, I guess, sea level rise does kind of cancel out any elevation gain. Um, so let's first, let's get to that one, and then we'll get to the new island being formed. Links to all that will be in the description box below. Anyways, a spectacular satellite imagery of the Planet Satellite Company from August 15th depicts pumice swirling trails uh, in the P Pacific Ocean. Pumice is currently meandering on the sea of the volcano, started to produce Circean eruption on August 13th and led to the birth of the new island. Pyroclastic material is flowing about 60 kilometers to the northwest of the volcano. Pumice may have a bulk density low enough for it to flow on water caused by the presence of vesicles, gas bubbles, and is typically intermediate to acid composition. Um, so, continuing on, get rid of that, and we'll get to the new island being born, because that's always fun. It actually, it is. Um, but anyways, new island was born in the Pacific over the past weekend, a powerful submarine eruption of Fukutoku Okinawa volcano that surprise observers and, the sci and scientists around the world, producing a spectacular mushroom plume of steam and ash to 16 kilometers altitude, which quick quickly created a new cone that has now breached the surface. The, cas the Japanese Coast Guard... I'm trying to get rid of the pop-ups. There we go. Anyways, could film while the eruption reached the surface, creating violent steam explosions as hot magma interacted with the surrounding seawater known as frito magmatic or Circean activity, ejecting billowing white steam plumes and dark, and dark jets of water, steam, and rock fragments. There's a video there. Link will, well, the link to this will be in the description box below, and you'll be able to watch the video there. I'd play here, but I'm just going to be cautious on aid of um, um, copyrights. Um, but anyways, at the moment, the activity has decreased somewhat, although the remote location of the volcano prevents detailed observations. Maybe might be a sign to have some satellite imagery. 
satellites that is typically um, well that is specifically made for viewing remote volcanic activity that would probably be in all in tall order anyways um, Elon Musk get on it um, but anyways the activity has decreased again um, and only larger plumes will usually be detected by the uh, VAC volcanic ash advisory center so I'm just gonna call it VAC um, anyways, the volcano is one of the most active in a partially submerged chain of volcanoes known as the Izu Bonin Mariana Arc, where the oceanic Pacific plate su uh, subducts under the oceanic Philippine plate, a process that results in both, fre both frequent earthquakes and volcanic ac activity along the arc. The last confirmed eruptions of the volcano occurred in 2010, 2005 to 07, 1986, 1914, and then 1904, 1905. During some of these temporary islands were formed that, that uh, subsequently were eroded again by relentless waves of the ocean. In addition to these confirmed events, there are a relatively large number of uncertain eruptions during the past century, at least some of which probably were actual er volcanic eruptions as well. Any of those during World War II could easily be, well, results of World War II. Um, anyways, already last year, surveillance, sur surveillance flights revealed that something was going on at the volcano. Discolored sea water was observed at the surface, a sign that either degassing activity at the underwater crater had strongly increased, or that already some small eruption had been taking place then. Whether the new island will become a lasting one will depend on the near future. At the moment, it has a flat crescent shape with a breached bay above the vent and seems to be composed of fragmented material, ash and blocks, which are not too stable enough to resist wave erosion for too long, especially as we're approaching peak typhoon season. If activity continues and produces lava flows that manage to seal some of the new land, its chances of long-term survival will increase greatly. Something interesting to follow. Uh, there's Twitter, all that. Can't really translate that. Um, but anyways, I'll just leave this here for a moment for those who are able to read it that can read it. Um, or if anyone wants to translate it in the comments, be my guest. Um, anyways, that does seem to be it for right now. Okay, that just went down. Um, but yeah, um... But with, again, with the rising sea levels due to the ice and whatnot, and the fact it is we are approaching peak typhoon season, I don't expect this new island to last very long. It'll be lucky to make it to New Year's. Um, unless if some lava does seal the deal. Um, but I don't expect that to happen any time in the near future. Um, but nonetheless... Oh, and also with the moon doing the wobbling thing, that's going to really mess with that. Anyways, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.